I'm in Kyoto in Japan. Uh, I've just made it uh, yesterday, really, really, well, today actually, really early in the morning. Um, yesterday was a complete write off, to be honest. I, I was up in Tokyo till about 7 8 a.m. having some uh, sake and doing karaoke, which was really good. And then I uh, was on the bullet train, but the bullet train uh, we had. So yesterday was the first uh, first official um, day of the monsoon season in Japan, and it was very bad. So yesterday was the first monsoon day of Japan, and uh, the bullet train was literally about... Um, it took seven hours. The train's supposed to take two and a half hours from Kyoto, uh, Tokyo to Kyoto, but it took seven. So I arrived about 4 a.m., so I'm still pretty, you can probably tell, but I'm still pretty. Uh, oh, they're closing it. There's so many little temples and shrines around here. It's very uh, chilled. made it to Kyoto. This place is a completely different world to Tokyo. I absolutely love it. So quiet, so peaceful. Right, let's go check out the philosopher's walk. Whoa. これ which is a really cool temple and uh, making my way over to the Imperial Palace and the castle. I think I've made it to the palace. That was a longer walk than I thought it was going to be but I'm finally here, let's have a look. First sights of the palace. It was pretty cool. I want to go inside though. I'm in the gardens for the Imperial Palace. Um, I was going to go in, but it's so expensive. Right, so I'm going to make my way over to one of the big castles now. Should be about a 10 minute walk, I hope. Let's go. So 
that just made it to the castle. Uh, this place is about four, uh, just over 400 years old, so that's pretty amazing. Um, what I love is that this place is where all the samurai used to come, and I love samurai. So this samurai castle is so cool, but unfortunately they won't let me take pictures inside. So all you're going to get, guys, is the uh, is the gardens and the uh, the outside. But still, it's amazing. Okay, so it's time to say goodbye to the samurai castle now. I'm going to try and get over to the monkey park. Everything normally closes at four o'clock here and it's 3.30, but I'm gonna live life on the edge. So I'm gonna have to go back to Arashiyama at some point because I was too late and I missed the monkey park and the bamboo forest. This stuff happens, right? Uh, so, walking back to my place in Gion now. Uh, should take about 20 minutes, hopefully. In about two and a half, three weeks, I will be in China, in, uh, in the mountains in Shandong, learning uh, sander kickboxing, uh, Shaolin Kung Fu, and hopefully doing some fighting and sparring with some of the Chinese guys out there, some of the monks hopefully, we'll see. Uh, but I've realised over the past month or so, because I haven't been training, my fitness has gone uh, downhill and I'm going to get it back. So. We're going to get back, change into my running stuff, and uh, see how far I can go. I may have missed uh, I may have missed sunset by a little bit. The river, baby. So I've just had a great run. Probably done about 10, 15 k. Uh, went to a park, did a bit of a workout, and. Uh, I think I'm going to end the vlog here guys, I've had such a good day, I'm exhausted and I will see you tomorrow, bye! So it's illegal to cross a road in Japan when it's red, but I think you should uh, live life on the edge sometimes. Here we go. Breaking the law, everyone. Oh shit. Oh shit, they're coming for me.